morning. It's about 10 right now and Finley just came to wake Larry and I up. Hi, cutie. <laughs> and he also brought me a bowl of leftover breakfast that he didn't want to eat. <laughs> it's like eggs and spinach. It's a little bit cold. I might bring that downstairs and reheat it before I eat it. We just wanted to say good morning from me and Mr. Cute Stuff. <laughs> You're so handsome, Larry. Day 16. <laughs> Took a little bit harder. A little bit of cramming at work, but it's okay. Can you catch it? Yeah, it's not Whoa! <laughs> Bone apple tip? We're watching a little bit of football. The Redskins won for the first time in what, like six weeks? Four. Four weeks. Craziness. Um, what else? I'm sending out, well, at least addressing some Christmas cards today so that I can put them in the mail tomorrow. And in a little bit, I have to go to the grocery store and get candy canes and then go to the liquor store and get vodka and rum. Because we're having a party tonight, baby. Guys, I looped an extension cord through our back door so we could turn on the lights on the back porch. But I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the front porch because I wanted to put lights on this bush right here. But one, it's raining pretty hard right now. I don't really wanna go outside and do that. But two, we would have to have our door like ajar like that to be able to have an extension cord running through the door because there's no place outside to plug them in, which is kind of annoying. But these are the lights that I'm trying to use. 37 feet, baby. I'm like, ugh. I'm just upset that we don't have any outdoor plugs to be able to do these kinds of things. <laughs> All right, you freaking crazies. I am dressed in some festive attire, kind of. I have the red, the green sweater, and then I have my red corduroys on. And I'm going to be going to the grocery store really quickly to get some stuff that I forgot to get last night while we were out. And then when I get home, I'm gonna have to do some baking. Um, for a few hours. I'm making cranberry bliss bars, peppermint bark, and then strawberry jam thumbprint cookies. And I have pretty much everything aside from Finley ate the eggs this morning, so I have to get eggs, I have to get candy canes, and then I'm gonna get um, spiced rum and vodka <coughs> from the grocery store. Or not from the grocery store, they don't sell liquor in grocery stores in Oregon, fun fact. Um, I'm gonna go to the liquor store, so yeah. I will just see you guys around, all right? Gotta do a little bit of driving today. Whenever I get into the car, La La Land always plays freaking A Lovely Night because it's the first song on my iPod. All right, folks, the goods have been retrieved. I got eggs, I got eight candy canes. I got also some apple cider to mix the spiced rum into it. I got spiced cider and then I got, um, some ginger beer while I was there. Let's go home. I got stuff to do. <laughs> I'm back home now. I figured it's a good time to put all these clothes away because they've been sitting here for nearly a week. <laughs> Okay folks, I'm making, or starting to make, peppermint bark and so I have to pulse all of these candy canes so that they chop up into a hundred different pieces. And um, I'm gonna get to doing that now, folks. Woo, that was quicker than expected. to show you but I just melted the white chocolate chips and then added in about half give or take of the candy canes that I mashed up and then I reserved all of this to sprinkle over the top um, it's probably about a half cup and now I have to take the dark chocolate out of the freezer 
Stunning. Wow, I'm so excited. I've never made peppermint bark before, but I fucking love peppermint bark, so I'm really, really happy I decided to do this. <laughs> Voila! Now you just freeze it. A little bit of a zero waste hack over here. Um, we used these hot dog buns, you know, like all up previously, and then I just kind of kept the plastic bag that they came in. And I'm cutting it in half right now because I need some plastic wrap to wrap and refrigerate my dough, but I don't have plastic wrap, I just have this hot dog bag. <laughs> So I'm going to be using this. It says form dough into a ball and then divide the ball in half and refrigerate it for an hour. This recipe called for walnuts, but I don't really like to bake with nuts a lot of the time, so I'm just not going to add them. <laughs> I'm making um, strawberry thumbprint cookies right now from a recipe that one of you sent me actually. You said that you and your grandma make them all the time. And I said, well, if you're making them with your grandma, they have to be good, right? I got a big ball of dough and I'm gonna slice her in half. And then one, two, and then just wrap them up in the plastic and put them in the fridge for an hour. Boop, boop. Now I'm just gonna do some of these dishes so that I can have this cleaned out before I make my next thing, which is cranberry bliss bars. Woo! I've never made these this many treats back to back, but it's a thrill. I decided while I'm making all these treats, I should probably just make dinner before everybody gets here so Finn and I can eat something other than treats. <laughs> so I'm making this arugula pecan pesto and I just already made it and blended it all together. It makes not too much, um, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pour it over all this posture in here once she's done, and that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. But I really have to get on making my cranberry bliss bars. Okay, dinner is served. My man is over here cutting some slices of cheese for himself. Larry? Did you hear we were eating or something and you wanted to come join? You're crazy. Okay guys, my strawberry thumbprints are happening as we speak. I've made one dozen of them and then I have another dozen in here and then I still have to make, probably that'll make like half a dozen. I don't know, I'm gonna start on those now though and I'll show you how I make them because it's kind of fun. Roll them up, dip them in the sugar and roll them around and then you take your half a teaspoon measure and like press an indent into it and then I get half a teaspoon of jam and put them in the center. So then they look like this. Voila! Guys, all of my pals are over here. It's really just Finley and the, the ladies tonight. All of the men said, we cannot come. <laughs> all of the boyfriends of these beautiful women. Okay, so we are doing a little white elephant gift exchange. I think this is like the best wrapping that there is on the <laughs> on the table from oh, Surfin. Really <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> Unreal. But yeah, we're gonna get into a little bit of exchanging, folks. You guys, look what the heck I got. Oh, yeah. I saw Lindsay got the cravings book. I think this is the second one, I'm pretty sure. Hungry for more. Because people were coming back. Okay. I'm into it. I'm gonna take a peek, see is that this? What's up, baby? What, what did you get <laughs> from the from the gift exchange? Can you show the vlog? Do you guys want to see mine? Yes. I got a uh, nice stack of pastels. Yes, you did. Oil pastels. Colored pencils. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. It didn't actually yeah. hit me. Oh, good. I got these so earrings. Nice. We got these yesterday at the they Portland Saturday Market. Here. They really do. And I love crystals. It's beautiful. I was gonna be so mad if somebody stole it. Dude, I forget 
what stone it is. It's like a pink. It started with an A. I have no fucking idea. All my my stone out. heads out there. All my crystal girlies. Comment below. Comment below what crystal. I'll figure it out. Yeah. You can just look it up. Yeah. Rose something, pink something. It's so Something cute. along those lines. They make me happy. But dude, I'll put this woman's shop on the screen because she is a rock star. She like gathers all of the bones from roadkill she finds and makes like jewelry out of them. And then this was her only piece that didn't have bones and it had like crystals instead. So I said, maybe some people won't like bones. And I think this is a good one for you to get, bub. So we got these yesterday. I'm so happy you got them. They would honestly look so good with what you're wearing right now. <laughs> I cleaned my kitchen. At least the surfaces. Woohoo! And then all of the pots and pans for tomorrow. Don't have to deal with those right now. It's 12:25. No, no, no. I made way too many treats for the amount of people, folks. Look how many leftovers we have. That amount. And then in here we have some cookies that Anna Lee made. What the heck is that? Is that a piece of freaking Christmas tree? What the crap? Anyways, I guess I should have cleaned that out first before I put the cookies in. <laughs> Embarrassing. But yeah, man, so many treats. What a night. Oh, oh boy. How are you feeling, Nance? I think I'm pretty good, man. Have a good night. Me too. I'm just really tired now. Just as tired as Larry. Uh, yeah, I understand that feeling. <laughs> Larry's yeah. sleeping in his butthole. He's so tired. He's been actually asleep for maybe two hours. Larry. <laughs> Tell him he did awesome. You were a little lethargic, but you made the more friend than anybody else today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I'm just freaking pooped, man. I love entertaining though, it's really fun and it's nice to have all of these leftovers and now I get to bring them to all of my neighbors and be like, happy holidays! Because I need to get rid of a lot of the treats. I realized that we're only in town for four days this week. Well, technically three full days and then I leave like at 6 a.m. on Thursday morning to go home to Georgia for the holidays for a damn week, so. I'll just be delivering these baked goods over the next few days. So Olya, if you're watching this, you're getting some treats pretty soon, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and I hope you enjoyed this vlog, you know? Got some nice recipes out of it, maybe for your holiday parties that you're having. I don't know. If you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. And until that next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. A rush, a glance, a touch, a dance, a look in somebody's eyes to light up the skies.